lake in the water southeast of here. I'll mark it on your map. We do need the hammer, by the way. Remember to collect 30 pounds. 20 will be used to reforge your equipment, and I'll keep 10 pounds as payment. You'll need to bring me 30 pounds of titanite crystal if you want me to reforge Pelinol's weapons and armor. Uh, summon the diamond tipped hammer. That will be 400 gold, thank you. Sounds really... Sounds really like... Farewell, Sir Knight. A grumpy about it, like... That'll be 400 gold, thank you. Like, it sounds like robotic a little bit. Hello there. Weird. Alright, anyway. Let's continue onward. Okay, you look kind of weird. I thought you were T-posing on me. I was like, really, buddy? Really trying to assert your dominance? Alright, so we do need... We did need this Helmet of the Gills because this not only... Wait, where is it? Oh, this provides uh, water breathing, night eye, and detect life. We only really need it for the night eye and the water breathing, more of the light br water breathing than anything else. There's a weird particle effect. Let's go to it anyway. All right. Thank you. Probably keep this as up as all times. I do have, I do have enough for it. Okay. I'm trying to notice if I actually have thirty pounds worth of uh, things for it. All right. So, moment of the gills. They didn't really change much of anything in the area. Does toggle light bright change things in this area? I mean. Technically, it does. Probably not in the same way that I would like. Okay, so while you're here, Tess might have to keep going back to the surface if she actually gets hit by all of this. So you'll find these little Titanite shards. Don't worry, the game. I found the site of the meteor strike. It looks like the meteor has punched a deep fissure into the bedrock. Also kind of funny though, that in the future, this little stone area here doesn't exist, so it's kind of awkward that it's here. Anyway, uh, I don't know exactly where all the pieces are located. I know there's a few that are sort of like thrown around the outside area. I'm gonna try and take a brief look around and find out where they all are. I'm pretty sure you could probably do it without the hammer. It's just that you have to be very precise on which ones you pick up. Okay, uh... And plus, swimming is really weird in this game. Especially the controls for it, it's really janky. I'm trying to take a look around, trying to find it, and I can't find any. I know there is, like, a couple out here, but I think I might have... There's no way there's just one or two kind of thing. I thought there was more than that. I guess not. Alright, let's go in here then. The interior of the fissure is uncomfortably hot. In addition to light and a means of breathing underwater, I should be wary of the heat exhaustion. And it does do a lot of damage. By the way. Oh. Oh, I think the mod is actually taking care of it. The Oblivion XP mod is actually taking care of their life regeneration. So I don't really need to kind of worry, I guess. Okay. Cool. So over here is where all the crystals are located. There might be some that clip through the wall, and that might be why you have to kind of grab the hammer anyway. But I know, like, you can pick up some really good uh, good chunks in here. 
I have tried to literally not need the hammer and it's not and I've never been able to kind of do it I've been getting closer and closer each and every time I go through this okay I'm gonna toggle collision right here because you should be able to grab this one and this one but I think it's because the collisioning for the swimming that's preventing you from being able to get at those Because even like, oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say even like that one should be easier to. Oh, she. Da oh. She down. She down, son. She went down. Jeez, man. Yeah, unfortunately, Tess, you don't have a good heal, and I can't really give you a good heal because even if I do give you a good heal, you don't use the heal. That's a problem, because if I give you the heal, I expect you to use the said heal. Okay, I think that's all of them for the most part. Because even this one right here, see? This one's the one I'm talking about, though. Like, it's the swimming that's weird, because it makes your character look like you're standing up. It's not like you're actually standing, so it's weird. Okay, and I think there's another location i'm just not remembering where it is located so let's see okay you can get at this one i'm just trying to make sure that we found all the ones that can be easily located i don't have to worry about health so that's not really too much of a big issue right now i'm actually kind of surprised this oblivion xp mod is really helpful for life regeneration and it's nice, and it's funny because I've been working on endurance thinking that it's just, just going to boost up my overall just health. But yet, this thing is just helping out with my overall just life regeneration, so nice. Alright, uh, trying to think. Yeah, see, this one clipped right through the floor, so let's go pick this one up. We're supposed to get that one anyway. Uh, there's also this one. Wait a minute, can you even get this one? Nope. Supposed to be able to pick up that one. And this one. Alright, let's just go double check the this top area over here. Uh, let's find out over here. Let's go back up and we'll double check. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. There we go. That one. I'm going to check around the crystal now. I think I briefly checked, so I didn't really do a good sweep of it, pretty much. Yeah, I don't really see anything here. Alright, let's go up here now. Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything that looks like it's a crystal over than here. That's one. That's two. I think it's the way that the crystals uh, collision boxes are and so they collide through the wall uh, this is not the first time that we will actually see these collision boxes acting very funky uh, trust me there's a little bit more there's a there's a lot of better examples in this overall mod of that happening so that's pretty much all of the ones that we can clearly find in this area and I guess also the surrounding area that is a total number of, I think it said 22 pounds? Uh, yeah, something like 22, 23, or whatever. So if you start clicking this, this giant titanite crystal should provide more than enough for Vulcanus to reforge the Crusader relics with the diamond tipped hammer, which should be able to chip off several large pieces of titanite. So if you actually do. Uh, get the hammer. You don't really need to pick up the loose ones. You can just click that. Your sense of sudden movement hammering the giant crystal has awoken something in the depths. It's right there. Tess. Tess. Tess is unconscious. Yeah, I can't deal with this thing. It's too... Oh, actually, no, I can deal with it. Fine. Ooh, it does a lot of damage, though. With the 
new exhaustion damage that might actually kill me. Never mind. It gave me 80 experience, dude. Let's go. I think that's it. Right? No? There you go. I have obtained 30 pounds of Titanite ore and should return to Vulcanus so that he can reforge the Crusader's relics. You have managed to break off a large piece of Titanite charm. The damage of damage showing signs of wear from striking such a hard surface, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still using Toggle Collision. It's just going to make getting up here much easier and much more. Yeah, much easier. And we can get rid of it, and you will see all of this. All right. I want to see if there actually is any other ones over here, because it might just be that they clip through the rocks. Because as we saw with the other area, it was very much running rampant that they were clipping through the rocks and such. that rock? No. It's just design on the rocks. Are you kidding me? I don't know how that got me. I think it's because of the night eye, to be honest. Yep, that's it. That's all we're gonna find. Alright. I'm done looking around here. Alright. Let's go up. Let's get a toggle light bright. We don't need it anymore. And we're gonna save the game. Because we that console is looking pretty full, so we're gonna crash any second now. Yeah, Tess, I can't give you a spell like my healing vitality because even if I do give it to you, you don't bloody use it. I think I talked about this before. I literally gave you my healing vitality spell and you decided to not use it. You decided to use uh, heal minor wounds or whatever you have. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Tess. For whatever reason, you did that. All right, Vulcanus. I have your stupid titanite trunks. Have you found any titanite? Yeah, I had to go through Dark Souls, and I'm not happy about it. I'm kidding. You found thirty pounds of titanite. You are truly an adventurer worthy of inheriting Pelinol's weapons and armor. Let me know when you are ready to reforge Pelinol's equipment. I'll need them for a day or two while I work on them. Okay. Reforge them, please. You're ready? Let's begin by finding out how you would like the weapons and armor reforged. Now, would you like the armor reforged as light or heavy armor? At any point, you can change this. It doesn't really matter. But right now, we're using light armor because light armor right now is actually going to be more beneficial for us until we start actually getting our speed up to 100 then heavy armor so we're gonna go and say light armor for now and would you like me to polish them so that they are bright and shiny or leave them with their antique appearance I would like mine bright and shiny please polished so let's recap you would like me to reforge the armor as light armor and polish them to a mirror finish is that correct no I want them shiny <laughs> Let me think about it first. I've changed I changed my mind. That's correct. Excellent. I'll just take the Titanite and Pelinol's gear off you then. Return in a few days and the weapons and armor will be ready for you to pick up. Alright, well, I'm not actually leaving because I can't really be consecrate them if they're not actually in my inventory, I don't think. I'm just going to start storing stuff in here. Let's empty out our inventory. When I say empty, I literally mean like empty our inventory of everything we don't really need. I don't care if it belongs in here or not. Just store everything in here. Now we can need now we can repair our chances to break. There you go, perfect. Alright, let's go. Two days.
All right. Oops. That's not wait. Another wait. Ah, <sighs> okay. two days gotta give it a few seconds I'll give it an extra hour just in case welcome back the relics? yes I have reforged the Crusaders relics and fit